keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Wes Yoon said, Replica Build, The Baby Bull. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe as liking up the video puts the video to the recommended. And, of course, subscribe and put your noting game for my daily uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. Okay, so... I've been trying to make this build for the longest time, and I'm so happy that it's finally in the game because I thought it would be really dope because he was short. He was 6'7 as a center, and if you don't know anything about Wes, you said he is, what can I say, man? He was, he was, he called the baby bull for a reason. He was short. He was extremely strong, powerful um, center for to be undersized, great rebounder, etc. Just one of the best, one of the better centers to ever play the game, and it's pretty dope to be able to introduce him to y'all. So, um, he's a center. He's right-handed. Number 41 is what we're looking at. Um, he was 6'7", so like again, 6'7", 245 pounds, 7 foot 2 um, wingspan, and body shape, I went defined, okay? But you can pick any body shape that you want, right? There's no right or wrong answer with body shape. Um, then what we want to do here is this. I'm not going to lie. Like, he was like a 99 or 98 or something like that. He's a high, so it's not like you're going to be able to go crazy with the attributes, okay? But he's still really, really good with the finishing. So he has an 86 close shot. That's gonna give you the fearless finisher. But also Giant Slayer is gonna work with this, okay? Because he's 6'7 center, 85 on the driving layup. Again, you're able to get the Zach Levine layup package because even though he's a center, he's 6'7. So you get a lot of benefits from this. 86 driving dunk. So yes, even though he was not like that, um, as far as like you know, driving dunk type player, but you still get post riser and limitless takeoff on silver and gold respectfully. Then you get an insane 82, right? 82 standing dunk, which is going to be really big. And then of course the post control is going to be an 85. So you are able to get post band technician hall of fame, back down punisher dream shake and drop stepper on gold. Again, this is a center, right? At six seven. So just keep that in mind, right? But 25 finishing badges is insane. He has a 74 mid-range and a 73 ball and then a 70 free throw. So nothing really jumps out of here. I mean, obviously, this is, I would say, above average for the mid-range. Of course, it'd be nice to have an 80-something mid-range, but you can still be able to work and do post-phase out of this um, because there is, and of course, you know, catch-and-shoot situations. Same thing for the three ball. Um, you're just going to have to make sure someone has dimer or whatever, but if you get the good base, which, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, like Brissette is kind of like the go-to base, Go ahead and get that base and just go ahead and spot up in the corner and knock him down, man. Like, 73 ball, you should be able to hit at least at a 40, 50% clip, right? I mean, like, you're not asking to hit 70%, but you should be able to hit if, like, you know, if you get 10 shots, you should be able to hit at least four or five of them, right? So 40, 50% is not that bad. Then on the pass accuracy, you're able to get a 74, so that's really good. You want to have a good enough pass accuracy. It'd be nice to have a 76 to get that gold. Um, break starter but 74 is as high as we can go and believe it or not he has a 67 spell handle so it's a little unique there with a 47 speed with ball so there is ability to you know get 10 playmaking badges here um you can be creative with this or how you want to go about it i'm not necessarily thinking about this build can dribble it'd be nice if you had a 70 to get pro dribble animations but regardless at the end of the day this is still going to be pretty dope to be able to have a decent amount of ball handle on this build because you are undersized so there is that potential to, to be a face-up type um build um with the center position so i think this would be good defensively this is where it's like you know kind of tricky because he has a 78 on the interior defense it'd be nice to have an 85 but anyway at 6-7 it's just really not going to be much benefit anyway of having an interior defense especially if you're going against seven foot centers and all that so again you got to keep that in mind 60 on the perimeter defense 80 on the steal, which again is pretty unique. 80 still is insane. He has a 77 block, so that means he will be able to get the chase down artist, and you do get anchor. And these are just tier two badges, which is really dope. Now the rebounding, I, I no, his rebounders was high, but obviously we're only able to go 89 and 94 respectfully. But that is Hall of Fame box out, 
and that is rebound chaser and that's only a tier two badge so keep that in mind so these are only tier two badges at the center position so with 21 total badge points you actually have a really 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 huge advantage on the defensive side because really all the badges you need as a center are just tier one and tier two so keep that in mind and then 74 on the speed is what we're looking at we're gonna go 70 on the acceleration so this is going to be actually pretty strong in transition running up and down the floor his strength again was immense we're going 87 but again it would be nice to be able to go 99 but we're just not able to do that with this type of build 88 vert which again makes sense because he's 67 but I, I don't see him you know him playing having 80 88 vert which is it's insane so that means yeah let's just yeah that's insane but anyway, and then 90 on the stamina. So we're looking at his 25, 10, I mean 14, 10, and 21. Um, and actually a decent bad stack. I would say it's unique, right? 6, 7 is unique for a center, right? So if you look for something very unique, this is definitely something to look at. I would say average shooting at best. Um, that's kind of the downside here. The finishing is going to be really elite. Uh, and the defense is going to be above average, I guess you can say, right? It's kind of weird to have that 80 still. It's kind of funny thing. Like, yo, he has a high still rate. Um, again, you know, I went with all posts, right? But you do get glass. You get um, rim and playmaking takeover. But I went with the advanced post moves and post shot daggers for obvious reasons. Working pure in the post. And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. Again, like I said, man, um, it's just good to see. Slowly but surely, we're rolling out a lot of replica builds for this season man as we start to wrap up and start looking forward to 2k24 there's just some good ones still here and there you have it wet man wes unsaid all right i think i'm saying his name right you said you said i don't know the baby bull all right <laughs> so now we're gonna do is this we'll test this boat out real quick we're getting 99 of course we will then get you out of here so let's go ahead and max this out here boom um again we talked about this the fearless finisher fast twitch would definitely be big then you want to come down here we want to get our limitless takeoff core that and posterizer all right and then we'll come here giant slayer is going to be big post spin technician so you can definitely add some bash points here for back down punisher um i think that'd be the only one left that i would really want but um giant slayer is going to be big right because well and i want to i guess you can go here let's do this it, you know giant slayer is going to be big because you're six seven so it's going to pop up when you do layups okay and then here we will go to go Let's go core green machine. Uh, let's see, catch and shoot. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? Let's go green machine, core that. Let's go catch and shoot. Let's go mini position. So space creator, we definitely want to do that. It's core space creator, then get green machine. All right, um, I'm trying to figure out what I want. Would I want corner special? Let's do corner specials also. Just because that's gonna help if we do phase in a corner. You definitely want to try to get as much as we can get stacked together. All right, playmaking side, let's go ahead and core vice grip. Let's get that quick first step. Um, we want break starter, obviously. Let's get dimer. All right, and floor general. Let's do all this stuff here and then needle threader. All right, um, let's just switch that around. I like that better. All right, and then <clears throat> defensively, like I said, most of the badges you're gonna have are gonna be here. So that's why I said you can go ahead and double core everything you want here. I mean, like we can go ahead and core rebound chaser. Um, don't worry about minutes get chased down and get anchor and then check this out you'll still be able to get workhorse um brick wall box out um pogo stick <laughs> like think about that we got everything we need from the center spot from one and two so yeah that's what i would say definitely go here and put more you know double core i mean double core if you can in finishing add your badge points so you can be able to get giant slayer post spin back down punisher hell even drop stepper rise up i didn't even see that so yeah you definitely want to add a lot of badge points there okay but yeah there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the baby bull replica let me know in the comment section what you think about this build but other than that it's your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with another banger man you know when i say back to another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out